This video is brought to you by the lovely sponsors below. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, sorry if I'm disturbing you, Jin Kei. I just needed some air. No, you're welcome here now. In fact, I would welcome the company. Perhaps you'd care for a drink with me? If you don't really mind. I just need to be outside right now. This is about Koyanskaya and the others inside discussing the antidote, isn't it? Something to that degree. I could tell when I'm not wanted around. It's not an uncommon feeling. I heard about that. About how a choice you made cost the life of someone dear to them. It's clear they are still upset. But if they choose to forgive you, that will take time. I don't mind the hate and isolation. That's nothing new to me. I've been alone for a long time. It's odd. What is? Never really opened up to anyone like this. I guess it's because I have a feeling you'll keep it to yourself and not share it. And what if I did? I would deny every word and they would believe it. Nail the Ice Queen of Calculations. There's no way she could have feelings. <laughs> I suppose that is true. But you know, we discussed this before back in the village. Poetry is the language of the soul. You should try expressing yourself more. It's only human to do so. We heroic spirits were once human as well. That's why we side with humanity against threats. Much like this lost belt. But we don't even know if destroying them will bring back our world. Nor do we know if we can even save the people in them. You've grown a bit attached to the villagers. Did teaching them how to read have an impact on you as well? Somewhat. I don't like my work to be wasted. Now, I know it's more than that. Be honest and open. Out here, no one can hear us. They're all inside currently. <sighs> Alright. Yes. Seeing them learn the expressions as they realized the things they could do. It felt amazing watching them discover the joys of, well, discovery. The spark of curiosity that seemed to be relit in them is something that I always took for granted. Humanity is special. All the different aspects of it. It's beautiful because each person is like a note in a grand musical production. Or a different color of paint for a canvas. Each with their own poem for a soul and dreams of the future. It's a mess at times, to be sure. With dreams and ideals clashing against each other. But the results always push people to be better. To find ways to push towards the future. I used to think being an outsider was okay. Working at Atlas as a Magus, you tend to focus only on yourself, your tasks, and your designs. Other people just often got in the way. And what now? Having spent time outside of there, among different people that think differently? Has your view of the world changed? I'm not sure. I'm having trouble putting it into words, as it just doesn't quite make sense to me. Don't think too hard about it. Just describe. It feels... different. Like the expectations of the world are shifted. Like steamed up glasses being cleaned off, but still fogging up. Well, it's a start at least. Perhaps what you've been looking for all this time has been nearby longer than you realized. What I've been looking for? Jinke, I don't think I understand. No, I don't expect you would. Not yet, at least. But I can already see it. You're being rather confusing. Jinke, can you just explain it a bit more clearly? You're the genius. You'll figure it out in time. I'm going to head back inside. You should get some rest as well. We have no idea what we will face once we enter the palace. I failed to kill him once before, but this time, this life, I shall save these people from his rule. For that, I'll need your help, because if there's one thing I've learned, it's that things that were impossible alone can be done when working hand in hand. Perhaps, perhaps you're right. Thanks for the talk, Jinke. I'll go get some rest. We may not all survive the coming tomorrow, but I can already see that little seed is starting to grow. 
I can only hope the others will water and tend to it.